Today we are going to go through how to add and set up a campus from scratch in PlanSafe. Prior to commencing, please ensure that the campus you wish to add has been created in Plan Studio, ready to be imported to PlanSafe. To add a campus to PlanSafe, go to the Campus Management menu under Setup and click on the Add button at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. When adding a campus, you will have two fields available to you clone configuration from and search your campus. If you would like to clone configurations from an existing campus, search for that campus in the top field. Otherwise, leave this blank. To locate the campus you wish to add from Plan Studio, use the bottom field to search for it. You are also able to add multiple campuses at once. Once complete, press the pull button. The first thing that will need to be completed when setting up your new campus is to set up induction requirements for the course. Induction requirements are used to determine what courses each type of learner is required to complete. For instance, an employee may only be required to complete their general and first response training, while a fire warden is required to complete both their general and first response and their warden training. This is all controlled through induction requirements. To add induction requirements, click on the Worker Types menu under Setup. Select the worker type that appropriately suits the learners who will be completing training for this location and then click on Induction Requirements at the bottom of the screen. On this new screen, click the Add button on the bottom toolbar. From here, you'll be able to select which induction or course needs to be assigned and completed by a learner of this particular worker type. For this example, we will be selecting our emergency control organisation instruction. We will then be selecting what site this induction requirement is for, how often they must complete this training, whether it is just once or if it is recurring annually or biannually, and if there are already any other induction requirements set up for the worker type of that site. From here we are able to set if there is a prerequisite course that must be completed first before commencing this new course. Once this is completed, save and repeat for additional worker types and courses as many times as required. Next is Campus Navigations. Each navigation has an item set up against it, whether it be content items, assessments or interactive floor plans. On this menu, we assign which navigations the location will be using. To do this, go to the Navigations menu under Campus Configuration. Navigations work as part of a hierarchy system. There are parent navigations and child navigations. A child navigation is typically a sub-item within your content. You may have a navigation called Emergency Procedures. This is the parent navigation. And under this heading you have another navigation called Fire Smoke. This is the child navigation. Each navigation holds important information separately in its own right but they are related and relevant to each other. To assign a navigation to your campus, find the column with the campus you are setting up and select the row with the navigation you wish to enable for that campus. Once selected, press the A key on your keyboard or press the Assign button on the bottom toolbar. This will assign that navigation to that campus. If you want to remove a navigation, select the item and press the U key on your keyboard or click the Unassign button on the bottom toolbar. This step will also need to be repeated for any child navigations by clicking on X child items and assigning all desired navigations. Also, please note that for the navigations to work on the location, they also need to be assigned to the desired course. This is done through the Navigations menu under Course Configuration, which dictates which navigation is available to which course. For instance, you may only have the Evacuation Coordination navigation assigned to the Emergency Control Organisation Induction course. However, all navigations that will be used for the campus in question should be assigned regardless of what course they will be used in. To assign questions that will be used by the location, go to the Questions menu under Campus Configuration. To assign questions to your campus, find the column with the campus you are setting up and select the row with the question you want to assign to that campus. Once selected, press the T key on your keyboard or press the toggle button on the bottom toolbar. This will toggle the question on or off for that location. The next step with setting up a campus is to assign assessment fields to the location. Assessment fields are the information about a learner that is captured when they attempt an assessment and is also the information that will show on reports. 
it is recommended that all available assessment fields are turned on for each location. To assign assessment fields to your campus, find the column with the campus you are setting up and select the row with the question you want to assign to that campus. Once selected, press the T key on your keyboard or press the toggle button on the bottom toolbar. This will toggle the assessment field on or off for that location. The next step is to assign the floor plans to courses. This will ensure that each floor plan that is in the campus will only show for the relevant course. For instance, a plan for a basement level may only want to be shown to people doing a course for security or maintenance workers and not office staff. To do this, go to the Floor Plans menu under Course Configuration. To assign floor plans to courses, find the row with the floor plan you wish to assign to a course and select the column with the course that needs to be associated with it. Once selected, press the T key on your keyboard or press the toggle button on the bottom toolbar. This will toggle the floor plan on or off for that course. Much like the floor plans, we also need to assign the campus itself to the relevant course. To do this, go to the campuses menu under Course Configuration. To assign campuses to courses, find the row with the campus you wish to assign to a course and select the column with the course that needs to be linked to it. Once selected, press the T key on your keyboard or press the toggle button on the bottom toolbar. This will toggle the campus on or off for that course. Once all this is complete, you are ready to set your campus to live. To do this, go to the campuses menu under Setup. Locate the campus you have been configuring and either double click on it or select it and click Edit Selected on the bottom toolbar. On this new page, click on the box beside Is Live so that it is ticked and press the Save button on the bottom toolbar. This will allow learners to begin selecting the campus to complete their online training.